Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about grid connected PV system with the AN and MBPT. This AN and MBPT, artificial neural network MBPT, used for extracting the maximum power from the PV system in grid connected mode. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe to our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. So this is a model developed for that grid connected PV system with the AN and MPPT. So this model consists of 154 megawatt, 34. kilowatt main grid. Here we have transformer. The rating is 34. kilowatt to 400 volt transformer. And here we have the AC load. The load one having 500 kilowatts and load to having 30 kilowatts with the rating of 400 volt line to line RMS and 50 hertz and 400 volt line to line RMS and 50 hertz for both load and this is nothing but grid connected solar PV array so here we are having 41 kilowatts PV panel with the line to line voltage grid line to line voltage is 400 and grid frequency are fixed here is 50 hertz that means when we follow this uh, main grid frequency let's let's go and see this model right grid connected pv system here we have the pv panel so this is a pv panel uh, detail the single panel power is 414 414 watts the open circuit voltage is 80 85.3 volt and voltage is maximum 4.72.9 and short circuit current is 6.09 and 5.69 so this is voltage and voltage temperature coefficient so this is current temperature coefficient so here you are using 7 panel in series and here you are uh, having the value that means you have to provide the detail So the P mode is 0.41. Totally 14 uh, parallel string we are using here. Okay, 14. And here you can see that the PV and the IV data six of the so consider PV panel. You can see here that maximum power is around 40, right? 40 kilowatts right at, at the standard irradiation test condition that means 1000 watts per meter square okay and for 500 is around 20 kilowatts for 100 is around 3.8 kilowatt and then here we have the dc link the dc link I will explain the detail. There's a diesel link is connected in between solar PV and uh, grid inverter. So here we have neutral clamped uh, inverter and then we have harmonic filters and then we have the step pump transformer from 260 volt to 400 volt. Okay. And here we have that inverter control. So here we are going to control the inverter. So based upon MPPT. So here we need to use neural network MPPT. Okay. So here how we are going to uh, implement neural network MPPT. Right? That means we need to measure the irradiation temperature. So based upon irradiation temperature, we have to uh, generate the reference voltage. Okay. So how we are going to do that one so we, I will explain now so just you have to click PV model so this is a model uh, solar PV model equation so you have to first you have to fill the detail uh, PV panel detail so here I am going to fill the detail uh, like uh, the short circuit current okay, is around 6.09 And then uh, current at maximum power point is 
and then open circuit voltage is 85.3 and voltage at maximum power point is 72.9 and then the temperature coefficient right for current and the voltage the temperature coefficient current temperature coefficient is 0 0.030706 then 0 0.030706 and then voltage temperature coefficient is minus 0 0.229 so minus 0 0.229 so standard irradiation is 1000 watt per meter square and standard temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. So we are collecting the uh, data for 1000 samples. Uh, here we are going to vary the temperature is in between 15 to 35 degree and uh, irradiation is in between uh, 0 to 1000. Here we are generating the random temperature between 15 to 35. So here we are generating the random irradiation between 0 to 1000 watts per meter square. So this is the standard equation for solar PV, the maximum current and then this is the uh, voltage, maximum voltage equation. This is power of the maximum power of the PV panel. Okay. So here we are using 7 panel in series. So here we need to, that means we are collecting input here, input is irradiation temperature the output is voltage here we are going to take the voltage reference voltage only so the reference voltage here here is the maximum power maximum power voltage right so here you have to take 7 into vm okay so first execute this program okay so after executing you, you will get this data input data so these are the input data irradiation and temperature and so this is collected output data okay so now i'm going to do and then start for training of neural network and click this fitting app okay and then click next and feed the input data and feed the target that mean output and then click next next and next and train the model neural network model so here you can see that the r value is 0 to 1 so that mean our collected data and a trained neural network having um, that means both results are matching each other so that's why the r will equal to 1 so i'm going to click next and next so here neural network going to be used in the simulating model so i'm going to click this simulating diagram and then i'm going to take this neural network model here right That may here you can see that we are measuring the irradiation temperature. This neural network when we provide the reference voltage, that means reference maximum power voltage to the voltage regulator, right? So here we are measuring the DC link voltage. That means DC link voltage or voltage across the PV panel. Sorry. So here we are feeding that uh, DC link voltage and also here we are measuring the grid side voltage and current ok so here we are measuring the grid, grid side voltage and current and then here we are measuring the DC link voltage here MVPT is on condition so MVPT on means uh, the NN reference voltage will be is allowed here right the DC link voltage and then reference voltage from the neural network right going to be compared here okay and then it going to be converted into per unit value 
they are dividing with the nominal DC voltage and it here we are process via PA controller right so this PA controller will be provide the the reference and direct axis current okay ID reference the current in the direct axis, axis okay that means here we are going to send the real power from the solar PV to the grid so that's why we are generating the ID reference based upon this a dieseling voltage and reference voltage from the neural network MVPT and here we are making IP reference equal to 0 because we are not sending any reactive power from the solar PV system to a grid okay, so that's why we are making IP reference equal to 0 so here we receive the the grid side voltage and current so that going to be converted into per unit okay the grid side voltage and current going to be converted into per unit so here we are using fixed dark loop for uh, generating a phase angle okay and here we are using the conversion right abc to dq naught conversion so that means it's like converting ac quantity into dc quantity so why we are con uh, converting this ac quantity to dc quantity means the controlling of a system varies efficient during the uh, dc quantity okay so that's why we are converting that abc to dq naught and then we, here we are considering only vdvq and idiq so from that we are having VDVQ detail and uh, here we have IDIQ reference so this here now we are using current regulator to regulate the grid current from the solar PV system so actual IDIQ value is going to be compared with the IDIQ reference and then is process for current controller and here we are using that feed forward common solution like decoupling concept right feed forward decoupling concept okay so after that this pa controller and feed forward common solution so finally you will get a controlled voltage okay so controlled, vo controlled voltage in the form of vd and vq okay so that's vd and vq should be converted into abc form right so these are uh, things that mean um, that vd vq Controlled voltage in per unit, right? So that should be converted into actual by using this formula. Okay. And then here we have to convert uh, that mean you have to take the uh, magnitude and phase angle of the, the controlled voltage. And then this base angle going to be added with the, that the phase angle delay that means 0 degree, 120 degree, and 240 degree and then is processor sign okay here we, we are getting that sinusoidal three phase sinusoidal with the 120 degree phase shift okay and then this three phase sinusoidal going to be multiplied with the magnitude actual magnitude so finally we will get a um, controlled voltage in the abc form so that going to be processed by over modulation pedaling technique so it will generate the reference voltage for the inverter okay neutral clamped inverter so this is going to be control this inverter in order to get the power from the solar pv to the grid okay so based upon the current reference generated from this voltage regulator okay so this current reference and this current reference and this current current controller this voltage regulator is to for maintaining maintaining the voltage across the solar pv panel in order to get the maximum power from the PV along with this 10 and MBPT okay this current controller is to for sending the power from the solar PV to the grid okay so based upon this ID reference so this is a control logic inside the connected solar PV system okay and then uh, using of uh, AN and MBPT right so here we are using AN and MBPT so here we need to measure GN uh, temperature that means irradiation temperature so here we are measuring that irradiation temperature so first i am going to operate uh, that means you have to do some uh, different test okay so first i am going to operate the model with the constant irradiation right i am going to make irradiation equal to 1000 that means if 1000 means uh, solar pv will be generate nearly 41 kilowatt right and here we are having that measurements right 
here we are making that measurement of grid side so this is grid side voltage and current so from that you have to calculate power so then you have to convert it into kilowatt right so here we are measuring a, a pv detail that means you have to measure voltage and current and then you have to calculate power of the pv and it will be converted into kilowatt and then we measuring the uh, detail right mean uh, vcl this load uh, voltage and current and this load voltage and current and then we have to calculate the power that going to be converted into kilowatt right so here we can see the the power of grid solar pv load one load two. so here we are going to test the model with the constant irradiation and temperature so here we are going to make uh, irradiation equal to 1000 watts per meter square and temperature equal to 20 degrees celsius so now we are going to simulate this model so here you can see that we are getting maximum power from the solar pv is around 41 kilowatt and then here you can see that the load one having around 30 kilowatts and the load two is having around 500 kilowatts right and and also you can see the grid right uh, grid supplying power of around 489.3 kilowatt so this pv pv is around 40.65 kilowatt and then so load one load two power detail right that means now the grid is supplying power to the ac load around 44 489.3 and remaining power is shared from the pv okay so now i'm going to change the load condition so far i'm going to change the load condition here is um, 10 kilowatts and here we have 30 kilowatt right so totally here 10 plus 10, uh, that is 40 kilowatt right so better i'm going to change here also i'm going to make uh, the power is 20 okay so here 20 and here 10 so totally 30 uh, solar pv can now now for this condition particular condition so it can supply uh, maximum 41 or 40 kilowatt right so remaining 10 kilowatt should be sent to grid right we will check the detail now now we can see here right the grid receiving uh, 10 kilowatt pv generating 40 it will it going to be given to ac load 20 and 10 right so remaining uh, 10 kilowatt is, is sent to grid Okay. So now I am going to change the irradiation, right? I am going to change the irradiation from 1000 to 500 kilowatt per meter square at the time of 0.5 seconds. So because of uh, changing irradiation from 1000 to 500 watts per meter square, what happened? The maximum peak point of the solar PV will be changed. So because of that the solar power going power generation also going to be changed right so now we are going to check the detail that mean uh, during the change of irradiation what happened to the uh, grid power solar power land load one load two power right so we'll check that one so here you can see that because of changing irradiation condition and the solar power change from 40 that means 40.6 kilowatts to 20.2 kilowatts right so here load is 20 plus that uh, 20 plus 10 so 30 kilowatt right so from the solar pv we are generating only 20 kilowatt right so remaining 10 kilowatt is taken from the grid so here you can see that the change of grid power from minus 10 kilowatt to plus 10, 10 kilowatt so what's the meaning we are getting power from the grid okay not to that means we are getting power from the grid in order to max the load right load power so uh, and also you can see that uh, during the change of irradiation uh, a and mppt will extract the maximum power so that things also we need to check right so for that i'm going to open that ivpv characteristics of the p panel so here I'm going to click this one. So it's around 40.6 right kilowatt. 
for 500 is around 20.21 right so here you can see that right uh, we are getting power right we are getting power 20.2 right so 20.2 kilowatt right at at 500 watts per meter square right and also for 100 uh, 1000 watts per meter square the power will be 40.65 so first you have to check that one so here you can see that we are getting 40.65 kilowatt okay so by using an and mppt we are extracting the maximum power from the pv panel okay so this is working of a grid connected pv system with employing an and mppt thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and, uh, and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye